Who's this chick? The screwdriver is about. Is that my screwdriver? No, my screwdriver is in a fat guy's head. At a motel. Seriously, who is this chick? Ah, uh, it's just a zombie going to the the drugstore. Come on, baby, time to go. I'm gonna get the truck pulled up round back. Do it fast. I gotta get my dad out of here. I don't plan on dilly dallying. Honey, take Duck into the office and barricade the living hell out of the door behind me. Glenn, when you hear me honking in the alley, start getting people out of here. You got it. Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till. Why is Kenny the boss, me, man? Take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my. Have you seen how awesome I am? I'll be the leader. Shit, you three, get on it. I'll get back as fast as I can. Stay away from the windows. What, what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? Over here? Oh, gotcha. They call for a glance, so. Hey, Lee. We don't make it through this. Are you gay for me? No, that I think she likes you, Doug. So, Carly likes Doug, but Doug likes me. This is gonna get awkward. Are you sure? Tangerine! Get some. Oh, snaps. Uh, get it. Yeah, there we go. I got this, you know, I'm, I'm black, so... Hey, hit the right button this time. Dad's Kane, why would you do that to me? Got a cool camera angle. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh, is it another toys area? It is. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, well, we wouldn't be in this situation if... No, just kidding, it was the alarm. I don't know, even though Carly's retarded, she's still a girl. <laughs> I'll help Carly. You chose to save Carly. I only have so many love interests. There's uh, Lily, whose dad is a dick. And there's Doug, who's a fat guy who's gay for me. Definitely, definitely... Carly. <laughs> Let's go. Let's do it. Two enter, one leaves. Oh, snaps! Oh, snaps! Oh, snaps! Oh, that's the chick with the screwdriver. You son of a! You get off, tangerine. Go, 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 go! Run! Oh. Are you kidding me? Are you? Kidding me? That's ridiculous. Holy snaps! I was like, "What the heck are you doing, Kenny?" Wow, there's even more of a dick. I have a feeling we're near the end of the episode. Ooh, back at travel your hotel, motel, whatever. Why are you always staring at him, Tangerine? Jeez. Don't look at him. Oh, there's a suicidal girl. Psychonauts girl. I don't know her name. I'm going to call her... Hmm. I'm going to call her Beth.
Okay. Hey, Glenn. Stage nine, that sucks. I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone. Gone no, either way, I didn't I see a single living person in Atlanta, if I remember correctly. I just saw like a crap load of zombies in the woods. On my way to Tangerine's house. You gotta do what you gotta do. I don't think there's any you stopping Glenn from going. So you guys be safe. We'll try. And Lee, you know, if this doesn't get better, people are going to give up. Yeah, Beth. Upstairs. Are you just gonna let them? You told Carly to give her the gun. Yeah, I did. Maybe you were right. I don't know how to handle something like that. Gosh dang, their facial expressions are crazy weird. Yawny, yawny, yawny. Whew. Gotta go to bed soon. I think this is probably the end of the, the chapter thing, though, because it looks like I'm saying all my... kind of my wrap-up conversations. Thank you. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. Tangerine. About Clementine. Yeah. Earlier I said there's some stuff out there that might screw up a precious little girl like I don't her. remember that. You did. Well, I still think that's true. But after what I saw today, I think between you taking care of her and her taking care of herself, you two are going to be just fine. Thanks, Kitty. You got it. <laughs> Can't talk to Katja. Oh well, I don't want to talk to her anyway. Hello, Carly. How you doing, Carly? I'm okay. You know, considering. I do. Yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. Uh, have we probably could have, but I, think so. Happened pretty I chose to save you. I know it's stupid. We just met, and he was such a. It's just that. I think that I liked him. I'm sorry, Carl. It's okay. Thanks, though. There's been a lot of death in the past. Who else has days. died? Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait. What's up? Lee? Girl, what's what up? How did you choose? Oh, uh. <laughs> well, if you listen to the commentary a little while back. You'll know I chose you because oh, you're a girl. That makes sense. And he's a gay guy, gay for me. And I'm not into that kind of stuff, so I just wish we both that's why I chose you. Me too, Carly. But you know, you don't want to hear that. You'd rather hear. I thought you needed more ill than her or him. So I'm already calling him a her. <laughs> Ah, oh, guy's a douche. That super dinosaur was toast. But you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then. Hey, Duck. Hey, Duck. STFU. Okay, sorry. She just saw somebody die. Stupid idiot. No, it's not that. It's. I, got I grab you every night, girl. What's the matter with that? I fell. Oh, I see. Broke. Glenn had the other one. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Why do you want to talk to me, fool? Come here for a second. Let me go deal with this. Oh, man. Clementine. Another thing. What do you want? You like my daughter? She's fine. Fine, huh? <laughs> well, just fuck you, Lee Everett. That's right. I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. 
Seems to me like you're the killer, bro. What did I just say? Bro? You tried to kill a little kid and you tried to kill me? What happens to you? But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. Hey, Lee, do you have a second? <laughs> Dang, he looks mad. Uh huh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That guy Doug is. No, Doug is dead because he hit on me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. Oh, there's the music. We're lucky to have you. It's cueing the end of the episode. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here. Yeah, military's not coming. You ever watch the show or read the comics? I agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. There are worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. That's what we thought at the pharmacy. It's never okay. Oh, snaps. Yeah, that's definitely the end. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm.